Hi, Leanne Donahue Tampson here. I've noticed that a lot of the women I work with don't value themselves or their bodies as, as much as I think they should be. So many of them accept second rate relationships uh, or um, you know, put up with relationships where they're not really getting their needs met because they think you know, that that's suitable, that's what they deserve, that's as good as it's going to get. Um, you know, maybe it'll be okay in the future. Um, I hear it so often, it really surprises me how little you value yourself. So there was a, um, a book, one of my favourite books called Illusions by a guy named Richard Bach. And there's a fabulous quote in that book, which is, argue for your limitations, and sure enough, they're yours. And I, I think that's what women will often do about their relationships with men. They'll, um, or with women, I might add, they'll um, kind of find excuses for behaviour they don't like, uh, or reasons to stay even though it's really not great for them. Um, you know, there's this real, um, they can see the problems, but they seem to choose to put up with them. I find that really interesting. I think it comes to a place of not valuing yourself, not respecting yourself not thinking that those things that you want in a partner aren't important and aren't relevant and aren't a priority when they are. I had an auntie Yang, she's passed away some time ago, but she was single as far as I know her whole life. She had some relationships with men. She potentially, we think, had some relationships with women, but in the era when uh, that was happening, it wasn't something that was talked about much. But she uh, always stayed and supported her parents and didn't get married or move in with someone um, in, in what was an overt, you know, long-term relationship. What she did instead was remarkable. First woman in a car to travel around Australia in something called the Red X Trials. She raced speedboats and was in the New South Wales Maritime Museum in Sydney. Um, she made outstanding achievements and she had a life fully lived. So I'm, I guess it's not clear to me why a woman would choose to be in a relationship that is less, it's ordinary, and they know it over having a life fully lived. Uh, you know, I think, again, it's about how much am I worth? How much of a woman do I want to be? And how much are those things, those values of mine important to me? I think unless you connect yourself with those things, your life won't feel fulfilling, whether you're in the ordinary relationship or not. I think if you have a good, clear picture of who am I, what's important to me, and how am I going to make that happen, whether I'm with a partner or not? And how can that partner support me in doing that and, and lift me up rather than hold me down, pull me back? That's the relationship you need to be looking for. And if you can't find someone who does that, don't then take ordinary doesn't it really fulfill me or make me happy because that's not actually better than nothing I think we trick ourselves into thinking it's better than being on my own it's not better to be on your own live your life the way you want to live it 
achieve the things you want to achieve, extend yourself, live with your values, than to be with something that really isn't where you want to be and that's holding you back and distracting you from the things you want to have in your life. Stop compromising yourself. Be you. Thanks for listening. I'll talk to you again soon.